years after a massive earthquake struck Haiti, killing more than 200,000 people, signs of the disaster remain in Port-au-Prince. The National Palace sits in shambles. Homeless people still eke out a living in tattered tent camps found throughout the city. The dense downtown district is dotted with partially collapsed buildings and piles of trash, while people sell goods in stalls covered with soiled tarps. But amid all the destitution is one gleaming sign of revival. The Iron Market, a historic structure that's been beautifully restored. The $12 million project was funded by the founder of Digicel, a cell phone company. The restoration was overseen by John McAslin and Partners, a firm based in the UK. Uh, historically, I'd worked with John McAslin and Partners, who were the architects of this iron market. And the iron market is this uh, very impressive structure in the middle of Port-au-Prince, in the downtown area. And the downtown area suffered a lot of damage during the earthquake of 2010 and it's pretty much flattened where we are now. This building is about the only thing that's higher than two, two stories. Indeed, the iron market suffered extensive damage during the earthquake. When I first visited the site in April 2010, the structure looked beyond repair. I spoke with several people working on the restoration project who emphasized the importance of bringing the market back to life. Is this an important part of commerce in port Yes, Porto that's Prince? very important. And how many people come to buy stuff every day? Oh, we can count it. Yeah, it's yeah. just really it's a, packed. Yeah, this is a lot. lot. So, Tourists and Haitian come in, American come in, a lot of people come. Now how come you're not just tearing it down? Why, why renew it? So because this, this is the historic yeah. Historic money man. We, we have to renew it because it isn't, it isn't the money. Yeah. Yeah. This is very important. The project was fast tracked and miraculously completed in under a year. Much of the original structure was salvaged while new portions were reconstructed using steel. The team also added a few modern elements. And it's the biggest solar panel array in the Caribbean, according to the installer. And uh, are they installed and functioning? They're installed and functioning. They power the lights, they power the feature lights, they power the, these huge fans. Uh, they power a water pump system which provides uh, clean water to the area. The bazaar reopened in January 2011. During a recent visit, it was buzzing with activity, with vendors selling everything from fresh fruit to voodoo potions. Fidel. Fidel. It's not Castro. <laughs> okay. And you make these here? Yeah, I make these. So. so it takes you two weeks? Yeah, two weeks so when I do that. Yeah. How did you learn to make that? By the historian. about locals reaction to the revived market I spoke with Ronald Edmund who sells souvenirs there so what did you think of the building so for the building now my mom builds very nice yeah <laughs> very, very nice, nice. Yeah, very nice very nice activity there's no activity very nice but there's no activity Edmund says he's disappointed with the lack of foreign visitors. Okay, it's a lie. It's because there's not a lot of um, clean, clean in, this, in, the, in the country. The tourists say they're coming, but we're waiting for them. Still, locals say the restored market has made a big difference in downtown Port-au-Prince. Jimmy, my driver and translator, said he often comes here to buy merchandise. I came here a year and a half, two years ago after the earthquake and it was pretty... Yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad. Rough. Yeah. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's much better now. Yeah, is that partly because of the iron market? Yes, the iron market. Yeah. Iron market is the best. Yeah? That's where everybody gets their stuff done. Do you come down here? Yes, I come down here to shop. When I want to buy stuff in big, I come buy my rice, my oil, everything. Oh,